This video is brought to you by a product I use weekly, Harry's. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the Reject Nation, Greg and John are back at it to watch the trailer for Joker 2. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? I can't wait. It's about time we get this trailer. John, are you excited to see Harley Quinn? So, so excited, Mr. G. That's very good. I have no idea what she's going to sound like here. Uh, me Maybe we'll get a good tease in this trailer. Guys, leave a like. Tell us, does this trailer do justice for your anticipation? Were you on the fence? Did it elevate it now? Let us know below. All righty, guys. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Wow. He is very gaunt. <laughs> How does he gain and lose weight between rolls? <laughs> there she is. Love, sweet love. We use music to make us whole. That is true. To balance the fractures within ourselves. It's a form of connection. connection. Not. Oh, classic. Out of the rain. I'm nobody. She's walking the steps. Hey. I've done anything with my life like you have. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Nice. Oh. Let's get out of here. It's like a messed up version of La La Land. Yeah. La La Land over the cuckoo's nest. Oh. What? <laughs> Whoa. Nice. Love, oh, yeah. Sweet love. The only thing that they got just like him. <laughs> to Joker and Harley love. the talk show. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, this looks batshit. Yeah. What's changed, Arthur? Steve Coogan. I'll tell you what's changed. <laughs> Dang. Hotel, Hotel Arkham. Talking about. Gonna burn it all down. Ooh, the laugh. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, put your mouth there. Put your, line it up. Line it up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cinema. That took sixty-two takes. <laughs> <laughs> He could barely smile after that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. Huh, it does look beautiful. It does look like a true romance. And a true musical. A true bad, musical. Ro a bad a rom bad romance. A bad romance. Thrilled to be partnering with a brand I've been using for nearly two years now, and that's Harry's Razors. I'm generally more drawn to anything that goes against the norm, and Harry's does just that in the grooming world. They saw the high prices in the industry and decided to blaze their own trail with quality and affordability. I keep a beer, but whenever you see these cheeks in the neck clean, and that's the work of Harry's right there. Keeps my wife happy, and Harry's makes it effortless. They're precision blades that cut smoothly with less drag, making every shave satisfying. And yes, it's versatile for other areas too, you know what I mean? So as a Harry's devotee, I can vouch for their value. You can experience unparalleled comfort and quality in your grooming routine where exceptional craftsmanship meets affordability, making a smart choice for a top-notch shave without breaking the bank. Their kits and value packs for shaving are unbeatable, but Harry's is not just about shaving. Again, they offer top quality, thoughtfully designed grooming products, including shampoo, conditioner, and amazing body wash without the premium price. Quality, affordability, that's a thesis of this. Now these I actually pulled right from my own bathroom. I regularly use their five blade razor with a nice weighted handle and their foaming shave gel man this that ball it is a game changer i just like the feel of it now i have to commit to keeping this in my hand the whole time because i'm not going to go to the bathroom in the middle of shooting this the handles they feel perfectly balanced and the razor sleek design is a classy addition to my bathroom and the quality of the shave unparalleled gotta reiterate keep part of my weekly grooming ritual because their entire range of products fits seamlessly into my routine stuff no reshoots here their german engineer blades are durable and refill plans are economical rarely use the word economical but i'm using it now plus their commitment to high customer satisfaction and no risk trial makes harry's a no-brainer 
no-brainer. This gel really does feel good. Let me say once more, choosing Harry's means quality and affordability. By grabbing your $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash rejects, you're not only getting a great deal, but you're also supporting this channel. That's harrys.com slash rejects for your $3 trial set. Stay sharp and embrace the extraordinary with Harry's. Till next time, Reject Nation. Till next time. Ah, oh, yes. Thank you to Harry's for sponsoring this video. Arthur Fleck, probably. I think imagine Walking Phoenix probably uses Harry's. Definitely. You know? I mean, look you how know, smooth that face is you for know, that makeup. You know that guy be. can grow a hell of a beard. So he probably uses Harry's razors. Uh, yeah, there's been a lot of talk about this trailer, and I, I like how classical it feels. It's funny because, you know, um, Todd Phillips, when doing the first one, so much of it was hearkening back to Martin Scorsese films of like the 70s now he's going to like the 1950s it's yeah. going back in time even more. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> as the joker films progress they will borrow from deeper and deeper back yeah, into it's cinema it's until it's like cave painting <laughs> okay i'll wait for the calligraphy of <laughs> yeah. the joker shadow puppet <laughs> cave wall joker yeah and uh, i think you know uh lady gaga is is wonderful casting uh, for this and it's to see the musical inspiration of the colony it's a jukebox musical mm. and to watch how it's playing on the psychosis of their minds and how there is a, a bit of like a natural born killers flair. I've never actually seen it. I've only seen clips of that, but whenever I hear about natural born killers, it's kind of the vibe that I get. Yes, I would <laughs> and, agree. And there's a lot of that movie that takes place in a prison. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. And so having that sadistic touch where it really is a dark romance as they're living out these fantasies. And at times what I liked about the trailer as, you know, coming off of the first movie when you couldn't, tell what was real and what wasn't at times here i was like oh are, are they actually performing to a crowd in this scene but this scene is definitely a fantasy okay but then when they're dancing around here are is the is the fantasy them dancing in the streets around the violence or yeah. is it, or are they what, yeah. which level of reality is the real reality yeah, yeah when did they get out of arkham is this whole thing in arkham yeah. you know and so i liked how even this trailer alone was messing with it but to come back to this with the continuation where you are seeing uh, Arthur Fleck seemingly evolve a little more into the Joker that we kind of know, yeah. kind of, I, I guess, because he's got more of this, this huge cult following and to have Harley Quinn sort of bring that out of him. Like, I don't really know where this is going to end. If, is, this, is Arthur Fleck ever going to evolve into a, a criminal not a, maybe not a mastermind, but some type of, you know, underworld kingpin of sorts. Some, <laughs> yeah, know? some guy who's so wild and so effective in his unique feral ability that, yeah, he just has his own little territory, I guess. Or, yeah, people stay out of his way or, or are afraid of him or something. Yeah. What were you, what were you looking forward to with uh, Harley Quinn's performance? Uh, Lady Gaga. Are I, you a Har Lady Gaga fan of their of her work yeah other outside of a star is have you seen anything else she's done um i've seen some of her america i've seen like half that season mm. of ahs hotel uh and that's probably my biggest i feel like i'm forgetting some other acting role she's held she's in house of gucci and she is great in a <laughs> not so great movie i would yeah. love to see house of gucci i've heard many things but yeah. no i'm really excited for her presence in this and i I'm a viewer who is often like, give me a romance. Like, you know, we're in a post, post, post romance world, certainly in like a world where musicals fit in in an odd way. So if there's two things that I personally, John, love and would love to see applied to this genre of comic book movies, it is romance and musical. And to have those combined all in one, especially, I'm sure, as hailed by the presence of Lady Gaga in general. And I'm thinking back to Star is Born. You know, like this almost looks like you're borrowing also from the that to make this big sweeping yeah musical thing that is like commit i've heard people say like i hope it's not a musical but i feel like musical in and of itself can be a broad turn of phrase in that like it's not going to be an opera probably where everything is sung but i feel I like that thing they say about like oh music you know can heal your soul or it can at least access parts of communication that yeah for words cannot like i feel like that is really nicely at least suggested here. And on the heels of the first movie, I feel like one thing people complained about was we'll get if you haven't seen it, uh, spoilers, but you know, that fantasy romance that plays out in his head with uh, the Zazie Bates character, I almost feel like they're embracing that motif of the story and creating a movie that is designed to be like, what is real? What's all in the in his head? What's all in their heads? It seems like they're almost gonna occupy this little bubble together that 
seems really fascinating to me. And if the first movie is all about like what happens when you've got a guy all out on his own with no one to care at all about him or help him along in any way, what happens when this person finds actual love and somebody who in one way or another, probably in a terrible way, sort of like amplifies their more confident abilities or whatever it might be. Well, it, there is parts in this trailer that do make it seem like perhaps at first she might be a psychiatrist. I've been be really curious. Yeah, based on this, I can't tell. Because with the lip gloss, the, the lipstick moment, she's on the other side of the glass, if that is her. She's on yeah. the other side of the glass, so uh, maybe... And, and she's doing so many things, like so much of the movements that she's doing in this trailer are exactly what Joaquin Phoenix did, like from the smile sure. to the gun. And, like, there, there's so many things. It almost reminds that me of like a Manson fanatic. I, I'm wondering if she did, if she was, if, if, if Arthur Fleck was the patient at first. And we, we are watching kind of a thing that's uh, playing with this ethereal sense of time. Yeah, because yeah. there are scenes in this, or at least moments, that certainly look like she is a patient. A thousand percent. Now. Yeah. yeah, and certainly that would make for a logical turn, given, yeah, her, her you know, budding... Uh, relationship with Arthur here, but yeah. uh, I don't know. Yeah, like this looks. I like that this seems like it's going to borrow from a broader range of classic cinema and a more wide range than you would imagine for like ooh cool gritty stuff. And and certainly me, like the first Joker movie, I appreciate a lot in one sense. And I f have a lot of issues with in another sense. And one nice thing coming into this and looking back on interviews with Todd Phillips, I get the sense that the filmmaking is more thoughtful than I initially gave it credit for, at least in its intent. And I feel like this sequel could perhaps deliver on the intent that I felt like was maybe not nailed as much the first time. Yeah, or it could be annoying and balls to the walls too much. It could be. Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> One way you, know, you never know, right? But I yeah. love a swing, and I'm yeah. glad that they're swinging it here. Um, guys, what did you think about this trailer? Uh, leave your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for joining us yet again. And keep a lookout for more videos coming out in the month of April 2024. Yeah. we got a lot in store. Lots already been shot, so keep a lookout, guys. See you all soon.